This week, the Earth Unplugged team are in North Wales filming an experiment between a mountain bike and a bird of prey. We'll bring you some more news of that later, but also coming up this week, falcon evolution, career-driven ants, and semen drinking flies. The genomes of peregrines, like Moses here, and saker falcons have recently been sequenced for the very first time, and scientists have revealed that birds of prey like these have evolved rapidly to overcome competition. Published in the Journal of Nature Genetics, scientists from Cardiff University explained that by sequencing the falcon's DNA with help from the Beijing Genomics Institute, they were able to identify the genes behind the bird's predatory adaptations, revealing how they cope with 300 km per hour collisions with their prey and the extreme air pressure experience during their high-speed manoeuvres. Professor Mike Bruford, who authored the paper, added that with their specialised skulls, beaks and circulatory systems, the predatory lifestyle of falcons like Moses is the most likely reason for this rapid evolution. Danielle Merch and her team from the University of Lausanne in Switzerland painstakingly tagged and tracked around 800 members of six colonies of carpenter ants. They monitored their movements and revealed that in worker ants, career progression is predetermined by age. With a tiny barcode-like symbol attached to their back, the youngest ants were observed to look after the queen and her offspring. The middle-aged ants cleaned up and the eldest foraged for food. Over 41 days, the team recorded 2.4 billion readings and documented 9.4 million interactions. In that time, the young and old barely integrated, whereas the workers in the middle, the cleaners, were the only ones to really socialise. Studying picture-winged flies from the high plains of Mexico, Juan Rule from Mexico's Institute of Ecology wanted to know why the females would often drink the semen of would-be suitors. Despite constantly pestering the females for sex, a successful copulation does not necessarily mean that the male's genes are going to be passed on, and that's because the females have been observed to squirt out the ejaculate and lap it up like some kind of sexual energy drink. Under lab conditions, Rule concluded that the female flies drank the fluid to survive the long, dry winters. As with plenty of males around, they could afford to pick and choose the father of their offspring, using less desirable suitors for a free drink. And finally this week, I'm here with a great friend of Earth Unplug and bird specialist Lloyd Buck on the set of our epic man versus bird experiment. Lloyd, what have you done with Moses to train him for this? Well, we basically just use his natural instincts to pursue this lure which he knows wherever that goes, he'll want to get it. So we've got it used to being on someone's back on the bike, in this case, G. Atherton, and he wants to hunt him down. So he's not bothered by the bike at all? You've been, you've been training him with another cyclist, right? Yeah, we've been practicing and he absolutely loves it. He really, really enjoys it. So I think it's gonna be really exciting. Okay, and Lloyd, I know you're gonna be biased, but who do you think is gonna be the best at this experiment? Well, I'm quietly confident in Moses, obviously, but you know, it's not gonna be easy for him because G's gonna be very fast and very maneuverable, hugging the contours of the hill, just like a pigeon would if it was being pursued by him. So he may have an advantage of speed, I think, but it's not gonna be that easy for him. And he's just been training on the flat so far. There's a lot of up and down here. There's a lot of curves, like you say, so it's gonna be an interesting test, isn't it? It is, it's gonna be very different for him. A lot of, a lot of different air and wind and things to work with. So it's gonna be a good challenge. Well, I can't wait to see the final film. That's this week's juice. To find out who wins in our bird versus man experiment, don't forget to subscribe. See you next week. Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered how you would move a giant crocodilian? This is Zula La, the big alligator move. Okay. Hang on, here we go. Yep. This is a baby West African dwarf crocodile. Collected the alligator who's in the back. I'm sure she's going to be very shocked, especially when she sees how big it is.